So, Jean Paul, tell me about your house. So, like, um, Ethan uh, and I um, had talks about like building this treehouse for my project. That will happen on the first floor uh, of the treehouse, and uh, like the, the whole wood you're seeing is coming from the dump from the city of Yer and we will furnish the house with um, furniture we did find it, uh, during trash days in the city and I bought some at uh, Emmaus or uh, Army of Salvation. So it's very eco-friendly. Yeah. That's great. Doing my best. <laughs> did you have tree house when you were a child? Yeah, 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 yeah. What did it look like? Oh my god, it was not as nice as this one. <laughs> Now, this one looks very professional, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I had some tree houses, like in my, in my garden and in the woods close to my place. Great. Ethan, can you come here a minute? Can you call him? Ethan, can you come? Of course. Can you tell me about your experience building tree houses? Well, this is my first, I suppose, tree house. Um, although I've been describing it as a house with a tree in it rather than a tree with a house in it. But uh, um, I've built four such structures. Uh, one back when I was 18 in high school. It was my senior project where they give us a month to do whatever we want. So I built a cabin, only a small uh, single story, smaller than the top um, of this in my parents' backyard. And so that's still, now that's 10 years old, which is nice. It's still alive, still standing. And then I did, I built, this is the third one I built in the last year and a half, I suppose. I built one small one again in Berlin at my friend Carson Chan's gallery. And then I built one in Maine at the Portland Museum of Art last, I guess it was about a year, a year ago now. Uh, and that was the first uh, large one in the big, you know, I was in a museum and it was two stories. And it was similar to this in shape to a degree. And the people could go inside, and they could go upstairs, and they could investigate the, the life of the person that I had put, kind of created and installed in the cabin. And you could kind of piece together whatever you'd like about this person's life, kind of come up with your own story. And so that's kind of my general overview of the, these projects.